Welcome to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast. Use the power of discovering new habits to create success in all areas of life. Body, fitness and nutrition, being, spirituality, passion and purpose, balance, marriage, kids and relationships, business, marketing, sales, leadership and systems. Transform your life by learning how habits work. And now your host, a husband, father, entrepreneur, trainer, coach and warrior. Jesse Yule. Welcome back to the Habit Based Lifestyle Podcast. I'm your host, Jesse Yule. And today we're going to be talking about the habit of breaking your routine. Now, I just returned from a vacation to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico with my wife and some very close friends. And one of the things that I realized in doing this was just how important it is to go on vacation, take time for each other, but also to take time to yourself to to break out of this habit of breaking your routine. You see, my entire coaching business, my entire podcast is really built around routines, habits. But this idea came up and for so many people that I talk to that are entrepreneurs, you know, males, females, whatever it is, it's almost like they become a slave to habits. They can become a slave to their routines. And one of the things that I started to question was, being on vacation was, am I a slave to my habits? And let me kind of explain because for near over 30 years, I have had a consistent habit, a consistent routine of working out. I have had a consistent routine of, of eating a certain way, taking supplements, taking vitamins, doing all of these routines and habits. These are stuff that was ingrained in me back when I was, you know, 12 years old, when a lot of this stuff wasn't super popular back when I was 12, you know, my parents would drop me off at the gym or I would get a ride with someone else. Uh, but I was always into, you know, taking supplements, taking vitamins, you know, making sure I was eating certain things, uh, so I could maximize what I was actually doing. Like this goes back to to 12 years old. It's not something I just started doing a few years ago. Now, this carried all the way over into, you know, football, into sports, into personal training, into owning my own business, into owning our own business, and then into this business, which is lifestyle coaching, life coaching. And really tapping into an entire framework of someone's lives. But one of the things that I see is people are often slaves to their habits. And these habits could be good working for them or they could be bad and possibly not working for them. But one of the things that I committed to on this vacation was relaxing and enjoying my time. And the first day we got there... Uh, the next morning we got up and it was like, okay, let's go work out. And I kind of started to fall back into my normal thing. I even kind of led the workout. But as we got to this house that we were at and stayed, there was these rock formations where people had stacked up these rocks. It kind of looked like, you know, something from like the future or something that just, you know, was, it was they were cool looking. You stacked them up. Uh, and I got really intrigued with it. And and for the first day, I kind of built a couple towers and I was like, man, this is kind of fun. So I made a commitment that I was going to skip my normal routine, my normal routine of working out, doing a green drink, you know, journaling and doing all these things. And I decided that I was going to sleep in uh, and not only sleep in, but I would go down and build these rock formations for my workout instead of getting sucked into the normal routine. But I was just mindful of what I was doing every single morning instead of, you know, waking up almost in a panic, uh, waking up with this anxiety of I got to get all this shit done. 
um, there was no nowhere I really had to be. There was no workouts I had to do. There was no journaling I had to do. There was no reading I had to do. There was nothing that I had to do. Everything at that point was what I chose to do. And I stopped doing my traditional workouts. And you know what's crazy is when I stopped doing this traditional type of workout, when I stopped doing these things and I went out and I built these rocks, I got to exercise some other things. I got to exercise in nature. I got to exercise my brain. I got to exercise my body. And I really got to find peace in doing all that. And one of the things that I really found is between the water, between the beach, and between building these rocks, I felt grounded in nature. And not only that, but just being able to find peace in these workouts was super powerful for me because they didn't really feel like a workout. Although I was moving around, lifting rocks up, climbing on top of other rocks, I felt like I was just meditating and getting grounded for the first 30 minutes. Now, don't get me wrong. These rocks, some of them were very heavy, but that wasn't really the point of it. I wasn't trying to compete with anyone. I wasn't trying to push myself beyond anyone. I was just getting in touch with nature. And as I was getting in touch with nature, I found some creative energy in this place. And oftentimes, this is what can happen when we become a slave to our habits or we we just consistently do this routine over and over we lose this creative energy. You know, the reality of all of these things that we do every single morning or at night are to give us this creative energy to put us in power, to make us feel like we're ready to begin the day, to invest in ourselves. And this is what I really like to stress to my clients and talk to them about is like, listen, You have a set amount of daily habits and a set time that you want to do these. And if you feel a lot of pressure or a lot of stress or a lot of anxiety because of them, you may have became a slave to your habits. And so it may be time to change up that routine. It may be time to do some different things and get grounded and get in touch with nature So you can get that creative energy and that creative flow back because at the end of the day, this is what we're really looking for is we're looking to be creative and not only creative, we're looking to take advantage of the time and energy and thought we're putting into what we're doing. It also assists me in being present through the rest of the day. And I can't tell you how powerful that this was. Uh, for the five days we were there. Um, And I can remember so many times on vacations where the first thing I would do is like, I'm going to get up at 6am. And I'm going to smash the workout, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And it was just this long to do list of everything that I was going to do. And instead of being on vacation, it was almost like I was taking you know, I was making the vacation more stressful than I needed to be when it's like, hey, man, all you have to do is, you know, get up, go outside, take your shirt off, get some vitamin D, some vitamin C. And this is what you can expose yourself to all week. And I can tell you that by the end of the week, I was pretty relaxed. But just by me changing up that normal routine, it opened up creative energy. So the question for you in your life is where are you a slave to your habits? Where are you a slave to maybe your fitness? Maybe you're working out inside so much that you never actually experience going outside and getting in touch with nature. And here's what I'll tell you. And this is coming from someone who's spent 20 to 30 years working out in a gym and in perfect conditions, but getting out in nature Uh, Doing things like surfing, biking, running, just getting out inside is giving you a shot of vitamin D. And at times, if, if you're by the ocean, you can get a shot of vitamin C 
also at the same time. And there's so much benefit to getting outside and working out. And one thing that I really stress to a lot of the people I work with is like, hey, make sure some of your fitness requires you to get outside and do some of the things you're doing on a consistent basis because there, even though there's a lot of benefits to going to the gym, there's almost double the benefits by getting outside and working out and doing the same thing. And it doesn't have to always be this perfect atmosphere, perfect structure to your workout. Another thing is maybe you're a slave to your habit in meditation and you're constantly using apps. You're constantly, you know, hey, I use Headspace or I use Calm. And although these things are great, they're not actually, they're actually telling you how to meditate. And it's kind of the opposite point of meditation. Meditation is meant for us to be able to sit quietly and to just allow things and hear things. And I can't think of a better way to do this than being in nature uh, and being around water, being around natural resources. That is the most natural thing that we can actually give ourselves. And then even thinking about being a slave to our habits in our marriage, oftentimes we're a slave to our habits and like what our spouse isn't doing. Constantly focus on maybe how they're not showing up instead of actually investing into your relationship, maybe laying in bed longer with your wife. Maybe it's cuddling with your, your wife or your husband, or maybe it's just talking and communicating and being away from the kids so you can actually have some alone time. And then let's talk about business. It's easy to constantly push in business. It's easy to constantly you know, be driving forward and really trying to force everything, but sometimes stepping back, getting outside, getting in nature, changing up your routine actually gives you the creative energy that you need to continue to move forward in your business. And I can't think of a better way to do this than changing up the routine. And so if you're going to take anything away from this episode is change up your daily or your weekly routine by getting outside and switching up some of the things that you're doing. If you're stuck inside, you're missing out on a lot of the natural environment. Obviously, if you're in a cold climate, uh, there's some changes that you have to make, but I used to live in a cold climate and just getting outside felt so much better. And even if it was for 10, 15 minutes, just making sure you're getting outside, you're getting in nature, you're getting around water, mountains, grass, whatever it is, but I can't tell you how important it is for you to change up your normal routine and just to get up out in nature. Hey, I want to thank you guys for being on here. Uh, I had a great week and I'm back. I'm refreshed and I'm ready to go. So if you guys are looking to connect further with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets group on Facebook, where I will be dropping daily habits to help you live to your full potential. Maybe you want to be one of our next case studies and begin living this habit-based lifestyle. You have questions, comments, or requests, feel free to reach out to me, jesse at habitbasedlifestyle.com. Until next episode, have a great day. Mm -hmm.